Good morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ. You are now tuned in for another beautiful edition of Rhapsody of Realities. Today, our man of God would like to share a message entitled, He Knows Where You Are. Hallelujah. Our opening scripture is from the book of Zechariah, chapter 4, verse 6, and I read, Then he answered and spake unto me, saying, This is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel, saying, Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, saith the Lord of hosts. Hallelujah! A certain man had a shop in a rural area. At a point, he wanted to move to the city, like his friends had done. But one day, while he was praying, he heard the Lord say to him, Stay here. So, he stayed. Two years later, the government signed a contract to expand the road in that area. The road was constructed and expanded and a new settlement with expatriates was established in the area. His shop became the strategic corner shop for everyone in the neighborhood. Suddenly, his business boomed, being the only shop in the area. Soon enough, what used to be located in the torn up street and sidewalk became a major department store where everybody transacted business. Most of his friends who had relocated to the city started coming back, but he already had the major share of the market. A few years later, he had expanded to a chain of major stores. It does not matter where you are. God knows you are there and will channel His grace towards you as long as you stay in His Word. Our theme verse says, It is not by might nor by power, but by my Spirit, saith the Lord of hosts. Where He tells you to stay is where you should be. He told Isaac to remain in Jerah even though others were relocating due to famine. The Bible says, And Isaac dwelt in Jerah. He was in God's place, in God's time, for God's purpose, in God's way. Hallelujah! Read the result of Isaac's obedience in the 12th verse of the book of Genesis chapter 26. Then Isaac sowed in that land and received in the same year a hundredfold, and the Lord blessed him. The man heard from God and it changed the course of his life. It is called the blessing of God. Do not move jobs or change business just because you think the field or pasture is greener on the other side. Hear from God. Be directed by the Holy Spirit. That's the way of true success and progress from glory to glory. Hallelujah. Now, my brothers and sisters, kindly raise your hands as we take this prayer after me. Righteous Father, I thank you for the guidance of your word and leading of your spirit in my life. You guide me continually, satisfy my soul in drought, and make fat my bones. I walk in your instructions and principles, fulfilling my purpose and manifesting greatness, prosperity, success, and victory. In Jesus' name, Amen. Hallelujah. You see, you are right where you are supposed to be. And as long as you listen to the Word of God, as long as you obey to His principles, as long as you obey the Word and keep doing them, you just see your life changes from glory to glory. God remembers where you are. Now, when you're free today, kindly go through these scriptures for you to further understand today's topic. That's from the book of Psalms, chapter 32, verse 8. The book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verses 5 to 6. And the book of Isaiah, chapter 30, verse 21. We'll see you again tomorrow. Till then, you are blessed.